Do you wanna know how to dice apples? Well, then you found the right video. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, my name is Dennis, and over the past 10 years, I've spent thousands of hours researching nutrition and applying it to my from scratch cooking. Today, I'm gonna to show you two different methods for dicing apples. We're gonna start with the large dice, which I would use for like an apple crisp or an apple pie, and then we'll move on to a small dice which I would use to put like apples in yogurt or some kind of topping like that. The first thing I'm gonna do is twist the stem off. It makes it a little bit easier to cut the apples and we get to use more of the apple. I'm gonna make my first slice right next to this core, slightly offset from the center. So holding the apple down securely on the cutting board, I'm gonna slice with my sharp chef knife. Now that I've made the cut, I can see the core more clearly and I'm gonna cut right alongside it for that one. And the next one and then one more. Now we've got our core, which I'm gonna clean up by taking one more slice off to the top. This part of the apple is good to use, and the cores you can compost or just throw out. Now I'm gonna take my big piece and put it securely on the cutting board, and just make a couple cuts down the sides here, flip it, make a couple more cuts. So now it's cut into nine small pieces, little triangles or cubes, and the same thing with these other pieces, except I'm gonna use a few less cuts because they're smaller pieces already. So just a couple cuts there, Turn it on its side, couple cuts. And this last piece, I'm just gonna make a couple cuts down this side because it's already small enough. And there we go, one apple. And for our smaller dice, we're gonna use a similar method, but this time we're gonna make more cuts. So I'm gonna start near the edge of the apple and make some thin slices, a lot of back and forth motion to get through that skin. And kind of hold the apple together as you're doing this. It'll make it a lot easier in the next step. Now I'm gonna flip the apple around and make these large cuts on this side as well. and a few cuts on these sides. And now I've got my first big piece of the apple, which I've kind of held together and kept in this form, kind of a Frankenstein apple. And I'm gonna make some cuts along this way, some cross cuts kind of holding everything together. And like I said, a lot of back and forth motion to get through that apple skin. Now I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees and make my cuts this way. And I'm gonna to continue to do this with the rest of the apple. It can be helpful to take this top piece of the apple off so that you don't have to deal with that skin and trying to get through that. And then you can easily cut these skin pieces by just flipping them on their underside. And there you go, you got a finely diced apple. Now, if you're having a lot of trouble getting through that apple skin, it might be time for a new knife. And who better to tell us about new knives than my good friend, Advertisement Dennis. I've been using Cutco knives for about four years now, and let me tell you, man, are they nice. My real life actual friend, Cutco Dan, was the one who first introduced them to me. And since he did, I have not bought a single other knife brand. Because while most kitchen knives tend to dull after only a few uses, my Cutco knives can go years without sharpening and still be pretty dang sharp. But wait, there's more. Cutco knives can safely go through the dishwasher without dulling or rusting. That's pretty crazy. At this point, you're probably thinking, dishwasher safe and stays sharp? This can't possibly get any better. Oh yes, it can. Cutco knives actually cost about half of what other professional knife brands sell at, which means that you can be like me and have your own professional quality chef knife for only $153. And that's not just $153 that you spend in hope you like it or hope you don't have to replace it, because of course Cutco has a money back guarantee so you can try the knife out and see if you like it. But Cutco also has a forever guarantee. Let's say that 20 years from now, you break this knife. Well. Cutco will send you a new one. Okay, let's say a hundred years from now, your great-great-grandchild breaks this knife. Cutco will send them a new one, even without a receipt. So if you're ready to upgrade to a Cutco chef knife, just use the link in the description to go to Cutco Dan's website 
and purchased the seven inch Cutco Santoku chef knife. Thank you to Cutco for making amazing knives. Thank you to Cutco Dan for making all this possible. And thank you to you guys for checking out Cutco Dan's website. Golly thanks advertisement, Dennis. Well, if you've gotten value out of this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing for kitchen tools, nutritious cooking, and healthy living. That's about it.